ABC 7 has learned through the VA and witnesses that a veteran has died after being found with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. As this investigation continues, ABC 7 Sam Harris-Simowitz joins us live in the studio to explain what local leaders are working on to help offer veterans the mental health services they need. Sam. Well, Eric, the incident that we're discussing, we know it took place at the facility's parking lot. I spoke with the city leader who's working to help veterans learn and know that the support and programs they need are ready and available. The El Paso veteran community may be a large community. Almost 53,000 of us are veterans. However, we are a small knit community and know each other. When we hear about a veteran suicide, we immediately think, was it one of my buddies? Was it somebody that I served with? El Paso's Chief Military Officer Paul Albright spoke with me about mental health resources available to service members in our community and showed me this part of the city's website, which has dozens of ways to assist veterans and service members in crisis. The city of El Paso has a veteran resource page um, with a mental health tab where you can go and see multiple resources that are specific to military and veterans uh, for help that is needed. Paso's Congresswoman Veronica Escobar also discussing the work that's being done on the federal level to help military and veterans in our community. Mental health and suicide prevention has been near the top of my list. Um, we appropriated significantly more funding uh, uh, for mental health services. I spoke with a local veteran who says that members of the community can help local service members and veterans by simply checking in on them and showing our appreciation. You never know what their day is. You never know what they're going through in life. So I just want, want them to just, when you ever you see a service member, you never know what they're going through. You know, just, hey, what's up? How you doing? Just something. I appreciate it. And we will have a link to the city's resources for veterans and service members on our website, kvi8.com. Eric, Steffi. All right, Sam, thank you.